got a mower hack for you, you're going to want to try this. It's cheap, and I can't believe I haven't heard of it. Holy cow. Let's do it. This modification or this hack is so popular, it's got its own name, and it's called the poor man's power steering. When you see the video of after, you're going to know why. The power steering part. The secret to how this works is real easy, and it all lies right down in here. It's real simple physics. The weight of your mower all comes down to the central point right there. It's not too bad to turn now, but why not make it easier? There she is. Needle roller bearings. Six dollars for a pair. This is 35 millimeter outer diameter, 20 millimeter inner diameter. There's your link. Go get you some. I'll give you a closer look. You got all those little rolling barrels, which acts as a spinning bearing. It sits right in that area I showed you. And that will just get sandwiched in between two machine washers. Got one other plan to make those last a lot longer. First, let's jack it up, get the weight off the wheel so we can drop it. We just need to get access under this little cap. We might have to use a heat gun. comes right off. Clean that area up. So I can just pop out that little ring. Like that. Now to let your wheel assembly fall down. Now note you got a washer on the bottom there. Keep that. Don't forget it. I can go ahead and clean all this up real good. Washer on the top too as well. Clean up the bottom of it where it's gonna sit. Just gonna squirt out some new grease. Get those nice and greased up. One of those in the bottom. And I'm gonna pack these with their own grease as well nice amount too put that on and wedge that in right there we got that washer that was on the bottom any kind of crud or anything slowing down that fluid movement just like that feed it back up through There we go. Let's see if the cap will go on without reheating it. Looks like not. Last step, and grease your back up. Here's my tip for you to make it last longer. Check it out. The little barrel that holds the axle, that you put the axle through, mine meets right up with that frame thing. So I couldn't do this to mine. But a lot of models you'll find, you'll have a little bit of space where you can take some of this. You know heat shrink for electrical work and all that? They make it in any size pretty much. This one right here, it's an inch and a quarter and it shrinks all the way down to half an inch. How cool is that? So you can put that around where you put that bearing Shrink it not too tight, just enough to keep the grass and dirt out of there and make it last a lot longer. But if not, guess what? They're only six bucks, buy you some more, do it again. It's time for the test drive. Now I tried to overthink this, and I tried to put it like a torque wrench or some kind of like a, a fish a fish measure weight to see how many pounds it took to turn the steering wheel before and after. But if you're watching this, you've already drove a tractor, a lawn tractor, and you know what it's like to turn before. So I'm just gonna test it out, show you what it looks like. We'll see how it works. Let's go fire her up.
huge difference. I mean, it's so much easier. If your yard wears you out turning your mower or your mower just is like that, you need this for six bucks. Two Eclipse and a jack. And it's on there. I mean, man. <laughs> It works! Hey guys, that's all I have for today. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, if you didn't like the video, check out the people on the bottom of my channel called Bad Mofos. Hours and hours fun. Check out my other videos and remember to subscribe to see more. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Later. Peace.